Hi Aquarius, welcome back. Now you will be familiar with these general cards. I did mention quite a few things. Definitely affairs in love. Matters of the heart are coming up very strongly for you this month. Um, the notion of feeling confused or finally realizing you care about something. So it's uh, quite an insignificant connection or a connection you deemed maybe not worthy of serious notice. So maybe you deemed it somewhat frivolous here will turn quite serious. Okay. Um, in time distractions okay let's have a look and see what's happening for aquarius in love aquarius in love okay the seven of cups the six of pentacles the death card the five of cups the nine of wands and the last card is the knight of wands Okay, starting off with that Seven of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Now, the Seven of Cups, I feel like if you are dealing with a water sign, um, things could be a little bit emotionally upheaval-like because you have the Five of Cups with the Seven of Cups. There's actually loss, okay? I'm seeing loss. Some of you might be disconnecting with a water sign. Um, the Five of Cups can symbolize walking away from something or dwelling on a situation or dwelling on a person who no longer feels the same for you or vice versa. So this could be losing touch with your emotions here. Remember those distractions I mentioned? They could be very, um, very strong for you, Aquarius. I feel like with before I get into this, the, the, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups can be seen as somewhat scattered energy. Okay, I think... Look, what I want to say here is that you and a water sign, I, I do feel some sort of disconnection. I feel like you're trying to make things work again. Is there a breakup happening potentially with a water sign or a reconnection? Possibly. I feel as though you want to work towards something. I see that you've got a lot of belief and hope in someone here, but you can't forget what they've done to you. Five of Cups, or they can't forget what you've done to them. There's grief or... This is like the notion of memory. It's bridge under the water, but uh, clearly someone hasn't moved on. So I'm not sure what's happened here. Um, but I feel one of you feels like you, you can't move on. You're not able to move on. And with that death card, I definitely see a parting of ways for some of you. And then in no time, you'll be distracted by other people or other things, fleeting connections, which in turn will turn into something more significant. Because there's, uh, there's an ending. But before I go into it, you have the Six of Pentacles. Those that are dealing with an Earth sign, I feel as though introspection, reassessing your relationship will actually turn things in your favor. The Six of Pentacles is here. I feel as though there is an Earth sign that's going to outpour their real emotions. Okay, They're coming as the Hermit here, so they may have been guarded. This is quite a stark contrast to go from the closed off guarded hermit to the outpour of the six of pentacles so i feel as though you're going to see a change in an earth sign here uh, for some of you now i almost feel like there's an outpour coming in um i don't know what it is that they'll mention here to you but it's going to play a significant role here i don't know if it's change i feel like this person will express to you they're changing because you have the card of transformation which is the death card that has popped up here now, the death card could symbolize Scorpio energy. And what is Scorpio energy? It's things that are hidden, things that are mysterious, things that are not out there in the open for the whole wide world. So some, I feel like an Earth sign or possibly a Scorpio um, has been hiding something here, Okay, has been genuinely upset or hiding something here that they'll express to you. And I'm seeing that there's, there's an element of maybe even them feeling quite conflicted here, Aquarius. Um, because the death card is here, okay? They want, to put a, they want to put a stop to something. Stop to cheating ways, stop to jealousy, stop to conflict, envy, hurt, or pain is what I'm seeing here. But the Five of Cups, they can't let go. They're still dwelling on something you've done or you're, you, you'll be dwelling on something they've done um, in regards to romance and love. The death card can bring about people from the past. So again, I did, know, I, I did mention an earth sign possibly coming back from the past. It could be a Scorpio here as well. Um, uh, someone that you've previously dealt with in the past and I feel as though this connection wasn't very strong or for some reason you couldn't pursue it Aquarius but the opportunity will come back again Aqu uh, Aquarius and it's going to be different in April it shows that you will be able to pick up where you left off and it's going to be a different sort of uh, a different sort of dynamic okay it's a different this time around things will be different is what I'm seeing here between the two of you 
you do have the um what's interesting here is that you have the nine of ones the knight of ones and you have the page of ones strong fire energy okay the sagittarius did pop up in your reading so it could be an aries or a leo as well not only a sag what I'm seeing with the Nine of Wands, first of all, let's break this down, is that someone is a little bit defensive. Someone's on the rebound or defense here. Okay, Nine of Wands. Be careful of rebounds. Um, I'm not sure if this is you, uh, Aquarius. If you are partaking in rebounds or just connecting with someone, you think, oh, I'll just pass the time. It'll be a bit of fun. Not really. Okay, not really. You'll begin to care much more than you think you will. Okay, so you'll be surprised. You might be defensive at first, but... This person is not just going to be a rebound. And of course the roles could be reversed. This could be you, okay? And you're not going to tolerate being a rebound. You're defensive about it. No, why should I be? I deserve more. I mean more. And that's what that nine of wands is. It's defensive energy here, okay? But it's also protect, uh, protection. You've got to look out for yourself. And as this, you have to understand why this person is possibly reacting the same way, Aquarius. Especially if you are dealing with a fire sign, knight of wands. They're coming through as a knight of wands, as the page of wands. Okay, definitely someone's un, someone under a fire sign is very keen. Okay, very keen to get things going with you. They could be the ones that's quite defensive. Um... I feel like they're giving a lot. You can see this person and they're like facing this way. I feel like they've given a lot. They've given a lot of emotion, protection, possessiveness, protectiveness, exclusivity. They've changed for you. I feel like someone is giving in a lot here, Aquarius. Um, and I think you're slowly starting to notice how much they're doing, but they're all doing for you. So that's quite, quite interesting. But some of you will be welcoming in a brand new love with the death card here. Some sort of connection you've been waiting for that can promise stability. I do believe this person is coming in from foreign shores or cities or they travel a lot for work. There's travel next to them here. Let's move on and have a look at your career. Okay, career, business. What do we have? The two of cups, a destined collaboration, possibly collaborating with a loved one. Someone you're romantically linked to with the two of cups or meeting a twin flame soulmate through work. It could be romantic. It could be for the purposes of business. Um, as well, okay, two of cups, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, wow, okay, definitely foreign international opportunities coming in with the world card, let's start off with the two of cups, there's a face-to-face -face meeting or you're already intertwined with this person, Aquarius, you're already connected, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you do have Taurus here, and strong fire energy, but most prominently the Sagittarius, I believe. Um, look, the Four of Pentacles is here. I'm seeing that you need to hold on to money. You'll have a very good income or performance for the company you work for, the business you own. I'm seeing quite a lucrative amount coming in because you've got the Four of Pentacles. Okay, definitely someone that's going to befriend you or you're going to connect with on a professional level. Um, is very big. It's more professional than anything else because you have the king and queen of pentacles. They are the last, the royalty, the royal couple of the deck here, okay? They're the last couple of the deck and they hold a lot of power, a lot of influence. They're well connected. They have a lot of resources. They've got a lot of money. Um, so this is coming in, okay? And this is what's supposed to happen because you have the two of cups. So obviously this collaboration is supposed to happen in April. Or if you're thinking about collaborating, collaborating with someone in a professional sense, with investing opportunities and things of that nature, I think this would be highly auspicious for you. The two of you could grow your finances and assets in a very beautiful way here in the month of April. Um, it could be a new opportunity. Ace of Cups, some of you are starting a new job or a new career and you're going to be at it for a long time coming okay there's the new job looking pretty with the ace of cups it's going to be rewarding it fulfills your soul's purpose here aquarius this is more in line with what you're really wanting from life whether you're career oriented or not whether you're just making and earning an income living paycheck to paycheck there's a genuine opportunity here for you to genuinely enjoy your job and find it extremely rewarding um I like what this represents for you. I think there's a lot of momentum happening in your careers. You also have the King of Pentacles. Okay, that's a Taurus. You had Virgo come through. But you also have a Taurus next to you here. Um, 
It could be a boss. It could be um, a senior figure in the workplace. I feel like this person is bringing you back down to earth, okay? They're very practical. Um, something to do with branches here, okay? It's the tree of life. They're emerging from the tree. So they've got seniority. They have experience. That This person is coming through. It could be a, a worker. Um, they could speak a couple of languages here. They could be on a visa, for example. Um, or this could be you establishing yourself on the online realm or starting to find work abroad. Some of you have these wonderful uh, opportunities that will come to you from a distance here. I think it's this Taurus that's offering you something with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, the, the end of April is seen as uh, the start of Taurus. So I'm wondering if something significant is happening for you at the end of April to early May, um, Aquarius. Major job changes are feeling really, really established because that's what the King of Pentacles feels. It's all about what he owns, who he knows, his possessions, ownership, control, stability. It's also a sign of loyalty. Um, being loyal, okay? Loyal customers or loyal clients, loyal stakeholders, um, or you uh, solidifying your loyalty to someone you work with or collaborating with here. You also have the world card, okay? Putting something out there for the world to see. You might have this, this could be an agent for some of you if you're in production, media, social media, trying to launch something online, a business even. I do believe you have a destined collaborator, investor, or there's a destined client that'll help you in some way. In fact, they might be one of your first three clients, um, three shoppers, customers, you know, um, and I feel like they're going to be on your journey for a while. Okay, so that obviously means something here to you. Again, the notion of that theme, which I mentioned in the general, something or someone meaning a lot more than you thought they would, getting more attached emotionally than you thought you would, Aquarius. It definitely follows suit, but the world is a card of completion and victory. Um, creation of a new world. I feel like there's you might be recreating something. It could be moving or relocation, moving offices, moving branches, setting yourself up elsewhere, establishing roots um, elsewhere, essentially here Aquarius as well. Could be learning languages, making money off anything to do with international culture, international food, international language, language lessons, uh, the cosmos, spirituality, travel, tourism. Maybe you're doing something independent on the side. You're very good at this Aquarius. Anything in relation with people, you're naturally quite talented at. You're very engaging, very entertaining, and this is why you excel in these areas. So for some of you, travel and tourism is coming up. Some of you might be taking a trip for work now or, or to take time off work, okay? Because the world can also represent adventure, travel, a bit of a hiatus here. So some of you will be taking that time off, okay? Some will be starting a new journey. There's the relocation, possible travel here in the form of three of ones, Aries, Sag or Leo energy. You're starting something. The journey is only beginning in your career or you're, this is the birth of something new. And you did have that newness here with the, in, in the form of the Ace of Cups. But starting out on a journey, you've still got a long way to go, Aquarius. So don't be disheartened by the journey that's still yet to be traveled, okay? The roads that you are still yet to explore. You're still yet to reach. So don't be intimidated by this. If anyone can do it, it's you. Um, I also feel like foreign shores might be calling you for work opportunities or financial opportunities in the form of it's. I think it's connecting on the internet somehow. Or connecting to international people here this would be very very good for you i will leave it at that though aqua i hope this reading has been insightful have an absolutely fantastic april